Hello, Beth Warden here to talk to you a bit about negotiations. And one of my favorite negotiations had to do with purchasing an RV for my husband and I. In fact, we went together to purchase it and we had a trade-in of an RV that um, we still owed money on and we wanted to get it paid off. That was our goal is to get that paid off. So when we went in, they immediately offered us probably $5,000 less than what we owed on it. And that was not going to work for us. Um, so I just quietly said, that's fine. We'll sell it ourselves. And that was not going to work for them. They wanted our business. They wanted to close the deal today. So they went back to the drawing board, came back with a, a little bit closer offer, but still not the same. And I just kept reassuring them, it's okay. We just won't trade it in. We'll come back once we sell it. But they knew that once we walked out the door, they could lose us. So they went back to the drawing board. I think we were there about two hours solid. Um, and every time they came back, they brought somebody a little bit higher up, had a little bit more sweat on their brow. And I really wasn't trying to play hardball. I just simply said, we can sell it ourselves, get what we want for it, and then we'll come back and we'll buy a trailer. And they were not having it. So finally, we did get our price. We got the asking price just by a holding firm and being willing to sell it on our own. Also, the price that we paid was not increased. So I felt like that was a, a pretty big win for us. Um, I'm sure they still won or they wouldn't have done it because I don't know what they paid for the, tr the vehicle that we were buying. It was used. Anyway, that was, I think, my most impressive negotiation and it didn't even have to come to tempers or anything we just made them sweat by holding firm and got what we wanted that's it happy thanksgiving